Okay then, in this video we're going to take this black and white image that you see here. Um, if you want this image you'll be able to get it from the description below the video, just download that. <coughs> we're going to take it and we're going to colour it in. So we're going to colourise it, make the sky blue, make the trees green, make the um, whatever this is a bit of a, a yellowy colour. Okay, I'm going to do that using a number of different techniques and things. Uh, but the first thing we're going to do um, is we're going to go to image mode I'm going to change it to CMYK. It doesn't really make much of a difference, but I find it easy to mix the colours that we're going to use using the CMYK palette. So we're going to do that first. Okay, that's nice and easy. And the first thing we're going to do is we need to select the first colour we're going to change. So I'm going to do the sky first because it looks like it might be the easiest. So making sure you've got your quick selection tool on. And I'm using quite a small brush. Uh, I've got it just on 11. And then I'm just going to paint in my selection of the sky. So there we go, you can see that's starting to figure out what it is I want. And what might happen is it's going to start selecting things that maybe you don't want it to select. So you press the Alt key, and then you paint back the other way, and that will then deselect the bits. So that it, it gets a better idea of what exactly you're after. So that's a bit neater then. And then I can continue painting the bits that I do want. Okay, so that hasn't gone too badly at all. That's pretty much what I wanted. Just a little bit of refining to do up here. And some more over here. But the real problem is these gaps in here, so I'm going to have to just zoom in on that to make sure I can get that right. So I'm just going to have to paint in, being as careful as I can, these additional bits sky bit there. Uh, am I going to go for these? Yeah, I'll have a go. Okay, a little bit down here. So just get as much of it as you can. It'll give a better result if you get plenty of sky. Oh no, I cocked it up. Yeah, I don't like that, so I'm going to have to just paint that back out. Just trying to select sky, aren't I? I'll paint that out as well. Okay, so just being as careful as you can. So I think I've mostly got sky there. A little bit up there. Okay, so once you've got that, we're going to try and refine the edge. Okay, so that it looks a little bit more like the edge of a tree. So to do that, let me just get rid of that, silly lava. Uh, we're going to go to select refine edge. Okay now yours is likely to start on the marching ants one. If you change it to um, black and white that will give you a good idea of what you've got selected. Okay I'm going to use smart radius and we're just going to set a number of about 20 I think and you can see how that tries to just refine the edge so it, it's getting the leaves which is much better so if you click on OK on that that's now got a much better selection than we had before and now we need to add some colour to that so what we're going to do is create a new adjustments layer so this is non-destructive editing we're doing so I'm just going to click on new adjustment layer and I'm going to add a curves layer to it okay and there you'll see I can now do curves I'm going to make the sky blue by pretty much just mixing colours. So in blue, I know I've got to add some cyan. There's not a lot of yellow going on in the sky, so I'll pull that down a bit. Um, magenta, yeah, not that much red in the sky. Maybe I don't want to take too much of that out. Um, see if changing black has much of an effect. Mm, I'll leave black alone and maybe just knock the cyan back up. Okay, so that's my blue sky. Nice and easy. Then what we're going to do is repeat the step again to colour this grass. So back on my background layer, back on my quick selection tool, and then I'm just going to paint in a selection of this grass. Okay, and hopefully it's just going to only get the bits I want, which it hasn't done bad. Again, a little bit of refining needs to happen around these leaves on the tree. So, um, again,
again I'm just going to deselect the bits that I don't want so press alt and then just refine that selection just by painting it in oops that's gone a bit too far okay and Photoshop's fairly clever it'll get the idea of what you're trying to select quite quickly so there we go that's, that's about right I'm happy with that so then what we're going to do is exactly the same we're going to refine the edge and then add some colour so select refine edge and do smart radius again I think maybe this time I'll only need about 10 yeah that's quite neat on the bottom of the tree there so I'm going to click on OK I've then got my selection I now need a new curves and this time I'm going to try and mix some yellow in there so put the yellow up the cyan down, there's not a lot of blue going on in the colour I want to mix. I think just to make it a bit warmer, I'll knock the magenta up, give it maybe a bit of brown. I think I need some more yellow in there, perhaps. Yeah, that's okay. So that's two colours gone. We're colourising the picture. So now, rather than making you sit through me select the other layers, I'll do it here's one I made earlier. So if we go over to this one and you'll be able to see all the selections so here's all the adjustment layers I created so we start with the sky I made that lovely and blue and then I did the grass nice and yellowy then I did these hills here which I've not coloured too much so it makes it look hazy gives a feeling of depth followed by these trees that I've pulled the green out of and then the colour in this tree and I did add a little bit of brown to this trunk not that you can really tell and so I just followed the same process through one, two, three, four, five, six times, and I've colorized the image. That's all there is to it. Okay, I'll be putting a lot more Photoshop tutorials up soon, so please subscribe, um, like the video if you found it useful, uh, and drop me comments too. Alright, thanks a lot for watching.